Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna. If you're new here, I do makeup reviews, makeup tutorials, skincare, anything beauty related. I got you covered. Today's video, we're going to talk about skincare. So, I recently had placed an order on Amazon and then I went to Ulta and I was very curious because that's the first time I saw this product, but I have been very curious about the Rosewater Toner from the Heritage Store. Now, I follow them on Instagram, and I also see, like, constant, like, little promotions or ads that they that they do, and if you don't know me, I love the smell of, like, rose oil. Like, it's one of my favorite scents. Like, if I could smell like anything, I wish I could smell like rose oil all the time. It's just, it's so soft, it's so delicate, it's very refreshing. So, that was definitely a selling point for me. But, um... They've had like the rose water and like spray or the glycerin spray for a while. I had never tried it. This is my first time trying it. So I'm going to tell you guys what I picked up and then kind of do a like what my AM skincare kind of routine is. So for starters, and I have price points here, um, everything will be timestamped below. So first we're going to go over what I bought. Originally, the only two things I picked up first were the rose oil. It's a rose oil nourishing treatment, which is this one, and the rose water serum. So these two guys I got off of Amazon. I think both of them may have cost me about 20 maybe $25. I don't know. I do see, side note, that Amazon does come in a little bit better with pricing um, compared to Ulta. It depends sometimes. I will link it down below. If you don't know, I do have an Amazon store. I'm an affiliate with them. Um, and I have everything kind of broken up. Like, if you ever want to see, like, my favorite blushes that are on Amazon, like, it'll be under blushes, you know, mascaras, highlighters. This is under Glow Prep for skin. So these two I purchased. So I'll quickly run by this. The rose oil says Nourishing Treatment. It says, gently apply this ultra hydrating blend of nourishing oils to the skin and massage onto face, neck, decolletage for a natural looking complexion. Some ingredients in here are apricot oil, squalane, oil, organic rose, okay, rose hip. Let me, I'm just going to read this up that's in the parentheses. It's not going to be fancy here. So apricot, olive oil, rose hip oil, damask rose oil, and damask rose extract. So that's in the oil. This is good for like putting on your skin. It gives you a nice radiant look, but it's very like, it's very moisturizing, which I really do like. The serum is lighter in texture. It's almost like, it doesn't even really remind me of a serum. Hold on, let me squirt it out. It's almost like a water gel kind of consistency. You know, it's not it's not like a serum. Don't think like a hyaluronic serum or anything like that. Like it's definitely more light texture. And it's funny because it has a really nice slip. That must be from the glycerin. Um, almost like, think of something like a dimethicone slip, but more moisturizing. But if you've ever touched glycerin, it's kind of like that, but it's more on the watery side too. So it's a good balance. It's not glycerin where it's like, uh, thick and like greasy kind of looking or feeling this one says treat your skin with a clean and potent actives for hydrated youthful glow this one has purified water uh, glycerin what else hyaluronic acid aloe vera that that's the other thing that I'm feeling the aloe vera is like a nice like slip it also has the damask rose oil in it so these are my introductions and I really like the way these felt and then when I went to Ulta the other day I ended up getting these two things. So I did get the Rose Water Toner. It's a moisturizing essence and this is geared to dry to combo skin which is what my skin type is. But I think like, I think if you're oily I don't think you would mind it because it's not like super, um, it's hydrating enough for somebody who's dry but it's not oily where it's going to be annoying for somebody who's oily skinned. At least I don't think so. This one says reduce the appearance of fine lines, wrinkles. With this ultra hydrating toner, it has a damask oil which soothes and softens skin. Hyaluronic acid provides deep hydration and more of a youthful glow. Again, this one is kind of similar to the serum. It has the purified water. It has glycerin. 
sodium, I'm sorry, hyaluronic acid, aloe vera, and it has the damask, I'm sorry, the rose damascana, hydro essential rose, it says here. And, okay, so yeah, that, but this, this is more watery than the serum. I know their, their ingredients are kind of similar, but they don't feel the same. And last but not least, this is, had this is a huge cult favorite amongst a lot of people and it's funny because I posted on Instagram and some people were like oh my god I've been using that for like 25 years and I was like that's amazing so it's got to be good right this is the rose water and glycerin hydrating facial mist it says get glowing hydrate and refresh uh, the dewy skin you've been searching for again damask rose oil glycerin helps to lock in the moisture um, this is purified water glycerin and rose water that's what I got. Um, I would say everything probably came out to a good $40, $45, somewhere around there. Again, the two things I got from Ulta, the last two I just mentioned, that came out to $22. And these two were about 20 something So, you know, it's a decent in investment. Sorry. I'm drinking coconut milk. I've been really enjoying that lately. Okay, so I start off usually... I'll wash my face. My face is kind of dry right now because um, I washed it before. I do have my eyebrows filled in, but I don't have any other makeup on. So what I do is I would start off with the essence, and I just go straight into the palm of my hand. I don't use um, I don't use a cotton pad for that. I don't think you really need to. And I'll kind of just like rub it, and I'll just start placing it onto my face. I like to take my time with this. Um, and just a side note, this has not replaced like my ordinary. I'm still using the ordinary like at night, but during the day, I just need something lighter. It's been so humid in Jersey and like raining or whatever, and I've just been really enjoying this. And this is not a first impression, by the way. I've been using these for at least a week or two weeks. Uh, the the two things I got from Amazon, I've been using for about two weeks. The things that I picked up from Ulta, I've been using for about a week, and I have really been enjoying it. So the essence goes on first. I'll kind of just like really press that onto my face. I do apologize, the dog is barking like crazy. Then this is where I like I get a little bit confused. I should I've been doing the rose oil first and then the serum, but let me switch it up because I think the serum goes first. It's lighter weight and texture, and when you want to layer your skincare. You always do like what's lighter in texture and then you move up to an oil and then you get what I'm saying. So the serum, oh let me show you really quick what the serum is like. So see how it's kind of watery? It's not like a goopy thick serum or anything, but it's got some some body to it, I guess. So then I'll go on with the serum. I have to go like behind my ears. I get very dry because I have seborrheic dermatitis. And that is like, it'll come at like the back of my ears. I'll get like flaky. It's so annoying. The good thing about this is I haven't had any issues with like breaking out or anything. It doesn't irritate my skin. And like my seborrheic dermatitis doesn't get like inflamed or anything like that. So good reactions to these products so far. That's why I wanted to share it with you guys because I like it and I've been enjoying it. All right. And then I do the rose oil so this I will take about that much of a drop if you can see what's in there like actually, let me show you again <laughs> it'll probably feel like to this part of the dropper that's it like what I have in my hand might even just be a bit too much but sorry so I'll take this I'll kind of warm it up on my hands just like that and then I'll kind of press and like I don't know this is the the few times where like during my day where well, I'll take my time and I'll put my skincare on and I'll just really like press it in and just enjoy it. <laughs> Whatever's left over I'll kind of work into my neck. I'm so bad with my neck. I neglect it like really bad. So. Now I typically use my Jones Road Miracle Cream like but it's just it's been a little bit too heavy for during the day so this is like my nighttime kind of routine um, so I needed something a little bit more lightweight and this is what I've been enjoying so I'll do that you see my face is left with the, like a really pretty glow my face feels nice and like really soft and my face will feel 
like soft, supple, and like just really moisturize all day, but without it being like heavy. And then last but not least, I will take this and I'll kind of just like lock it in. Now I know you can do this as like a prep. I'm sorry, I keep scratching my ear. It's like I've mentioned before, it's very dry here and it's so itchy. Um this you can use under makeup like to prep your skin. You can do it to seal the moisturizer and everything. So I've kind of been just doing that as like my last step. I haven't tried it over makeup yet. But I like it. The um the spray is nice. It's like a nice really good mist. It's not like it shoots you in the eye and you're like, oh my god, or anything like that. So yeah, I'll kind of just like this is it. This has been my AM routine lately. I've been enjoying it. It's kind of easy. And I have my daughter using not all of these products, but I have her using because she's 10 and you know, I'm trying to introduce her to skincare. She washes her face and she does the moisturizing essence. And then I have her do a little bit of the oil because she's a little bit dry from like going in the swimming pool. Um, so we'll do that. And then I have her. It's not in here. I have her using like the CeraVe moisturizer just to, you know, because it's gentle and everything. But that's what we're doing. This is what I'm doing. So this has been my AM skincare. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. Uh, follow me over on Instagram. I'm very responsive there. I know I'm getting a little bit better with the comments here. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you guys in my next one.